Previously, the C-130 Hercules was the standard for tactical military transport aircraft, but today, there are many more choices than a legend that has existed for over seven decades. Emerging as a new symbol of strength and innovation, the Airbus A400M is the perfect answer to the limitations that the C-130 could not overcome. With its superior capabilities, it not only replaces the Hercules, but also sets a new standard for modern military air transport. So, how does it surpass the legendary C-130? Why are more and more countries eager to include this military transport aircraft in their fleets? Let's find out. Few people know that the Airbus A400M Atlas, a four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft, was not born out of ambition, but from an urgent necessity. The Airbus A400M Atlas is more than just a military transport plane, it is a symbol of Europe's desire for autonomy, strength, and innovation. The story began in the late 1980s, when Europe's mainstay transport fleets, such as the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and Transall C-160, were reaching their limits. Aircraft that had been the backbone of European airlift capability for decades could no longer meet the growing demands of modern strategic operations. Nations like France, Germany, the United Kingdom, and Spain realized they needed something new and daring. An aircraft that could carry heavy loads like the C-130, yet remain flexible enough to operate from short, rough, unpaved runways, a feat that even large strategic airlifters like the C-17 Globemaster or IL-76 could barely manage. From this vision emerged the idea of a dual-role military transport aircraft, capable of performing both strategic and tactical missions within a single platform. The development program was initially called FIMA, short for Future International Military Airlifter. It was an unprecedented multinational collaboration, bringing together Aerospatial, France, British Aerospace, UK, Alinea, Italy, CASA, Spain, and even Lockheed, USA. However, Lockheed soon withdrew to focus on developing its own C-130J Super Hercules, leaving Europe to continue the project independently. A bold, but historic decision. In 1995, Airbus Military, the defense branch of Airbus, officially took over the program and named it A400M. The ambition became tangible in 2003 when seven countries, Germany, France, Spain, the United Kingdom, Turkey, Belgium, and Luxembourg, signed a contract for 180 aircraft, a massive commitment that reflected Europe's faith in its own aerospace future. Yet, the road to success was anything but smooth. The project soon faced a series of daunting challenges. The TP400-D6 turboprop engine, the most powerful ever built outside the United States or Russia, took far longer to develop than expected. The fly-by-wire flight control software, cargo drop system, and even cockpit design all suffered repeated setbacks. Costs skyrocketed, schedules slipped by years, and at times, it seemed that the Atlas might never take flight. But Europe refused to give up. After thousands of hours of testing, debates, and technical revisions, on December 11, 2009, in Seville, Spain, the first A400M finally took to the skies, marking the dawn of a new era in military aviation. Four years later, in March 2013, the aircraft received certification from the European Aviation Safety Agency, and by August 2013, the French Air Force officially received its first Atlas aircraft. Since then, the program has gradually stabilized. Germany, the UK, Malaysia, Turkey, and Spain have all taken delivery, each witnessing a significant enhancement in their airlift capabilities. Today, although once criticized as too ambitious and too slow, it must be acknowledged that it far surpasses the older generations of military transport aircraft. So, how exactly can it outperform legends like Hercules? If you've ever thought that the C-130 Hercules was the ultimate standard for military transport aircraft, the A-400M Atlas will make you think again. This isn't just another four-engine turboprop transport plane, it represents a giant leap in both technology and design philosophy, marking the beginning of an entirely new generation in military airlift. For more than half a century, the Hercules has held its legendary status, famed for its ability to operate on the harshest and most rugged airstrips. But Airbus didn't just inherit that legacy, it expanded the very definition of versatility to an entirely new level. The Atlas combines the heavy lift power of a strategic airlifter with the agility of a tactical one, creating a transport platform capable of handling almost any mission, from the front lines to the rear. First, in terms of payload. While the C-130 is typically limited to carrying light armored vehicles or standard cargo, 
The A400M changes the game entirely. It can carry heavy armored vehicles, helicopters, or oversized equipment loads that even medium transport aircraft struggle with. The Hercules can't handle such weight while maintaining high performance on short runways, but the Atlas can with remarkable stability, power, and reliability. Not only that, it flies faster and farther, enabling strategic missions that the Hercules was never optimized to perform. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. Second, speed and takeoff landing performance. Equipped with four advanced TP400-D6 turboprop engines, the A400M reaches a cruising speed of 780 kilometers per hour, significantly faster than the C-130J, which maxes out at around 645 kilometers per hour. And impressively, despite its larger payload, it still operates from short, unpaved runways. Its 12-wheel main landing gear distributes weight efficiently, creating less ground pressure than even the Hercules. Moreover, with its high-mounted engine design, the A400M is far less vulnerable to dust or debris, a clear advantage in harsh, uneven, and battlefield environments. Third, when it comes to survivability and self-defense, the A400M completely surpasses the standards once set by the C-130. It features an armored cockpit, bullet-resistant glass, and an inert gas system in its fuel tanks to reduce the risk of fire or explosion, features the Hercules never had. Besides, it can fly as low as 150 feet, about 45 meters, perform steep maneuvers up to 120 degrees, and maintain a low infrared signature making it much harder to detect by radar or heat-seeking missiles. In addition, its fly-by-wire control system responds instantly, and when paired with modern electronic countermeasures, locking onto the A400M becomes almost impossible. Beyond that, this tanker also possesses comprehensive aerial refueling capability, something the Hercules only offers on specialized variants like the KC-130. With a massive 51-ton fuel capacity and a multi-role refueling system, it can refuel fighter jets, helicopters, and even other transport aircraft. From the Su-30, F-18, Tornado, and Eurofighter to combat helicopters, all can take fuel directly from the A-400M, making it a true flying gas station in the sky. And if you think the Atlas's strengths end with transport, think again. In airdrop missions, it shines just as brightly, certified to drop payloads of up to 25 tons from both low and high altitudes and capable of deploying 116 paratroopers simultaneously, nearly double that of the Hercules, which typically carries around 64 in standard configuration. And the result is, with 178 orders from 10 countries and more than 200,000 flight hours, the A400M isn't merely an upgrade to the Hercules, it's a complete redefinition of modern military air transport. It seamlessly performs both strategic and tactical missions, troop and cargo transport, aerial refueling, humanitarian aid, and peacekeeping operations, all within a single, powerful, flexible platform that far exceeds the limits once set by the C-130. So, what do you think? Is the A-400M Atlas gradually rewriting the history that the Hercules once defined? While it was born amid both high expectations and lingering skepticism, the A400M has since proven itself to be far more than just another military transport plane. It has become a vital, real-world asset, one that bridges the gap between war zones, disaster areas, and humanitarian crises. With its rare combination of heavy lift capacity, long-range endurance, and the ability to take off and land on short, unpaved runways, the aircraft stands out as the aircraft of choice for missions demanding absolute flexibility and reliability. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, the A400M stepped far beyond its military role. It took part in large-scale medical evacuation operations across Europe, flying through restricted airspace and carrying out rescue missions under immense pressure. Its spacious cargo bay could be rapidly converted into an airborne intensive care unit capable of transporting critically ill patients, emergency relief equipment, and medical supplies to lockdown zones or overburdened hospitals. Several cross-border missions were conducted between France, Germany, and Spain, all nations operating the A400M, showcasing the aircraft's agility in humanitarian coordination across borders. But its versatility doesn't end there. This military transport aircraft has also been at the forefront of NATO's and Allied military operations. In Afghanistan, it played a crucial logistical role, evacuating troops and heavy equipment from remote bases where rugged terrain and short runways rendered larger strategic aircraft useless. 
In Mali, amid anti-terror operations in the Sahel, it became a lifeline, delivering soldiers, armored vehicles, and critical supplies to remote hotspots accessible only via dirt strips or small regional airfields. Most recently, as tensions escalated in Ukraine, the A-400M once again proved its worth. The aircraft has been deployed to transport weapons, defense equipment, and humanitarian aid from Western Europe to NATO's eastern borders, underscoring its rapid response capability and extended operational range, even in environments perilously close to active conflict zones. Yet the Atlas's story extends far beyond war and crisis. Following the devastating 2023 earthquake in Turkey, a 400M aircraft from Germany, France, and Spain were among the first aircraft to respond, flying emergency missions that delivered hundreds of tons of relief supplies, field hospitals, tents, and rescue teams to regions where airports were severely damaged or completely inoperable. In Southeast Asia, the Royal Malaysian Air Force's A400M has also been deployed for flood relief operations, ferrying food, medical equipment, and rescue personnel to isolated communities, a testament to the aircraft's adaptability not just at the multinational level, but also in domestic crisis response. Each of these missions highlights something greater than technical excellence. They prove that the aircraft isn't just a technological showcase. It's a strategic instrument in every sense where cutting-edge engineering, real-world endurance, and humanitarian purpose converge in a single, unified platform. In the end, the Atlas isn't simply a machine built for war. It's an aircraft built for every challenge that defines our world today, from conflict to catastrophe, and from crisis to hope. The A400M's remarkable capabilities prove that it is far more than just a state-of-the-art military transport aircraft. It is a symbol of Europe's bold transformation in defense and aerospace. Behind its four powerful engines lies not only advanced engineering, but also one of the most ambitious cooperative efforts in the continent's modern history. One of the A400M's greatest milestones lies within its very heart. The TP400D6 engine, the first turboprop engine ever designed and built entirely in Europe. Produced by Europrop International, a joint venture uniting MTU Aero Engines, Germany, Rolls-Royce, UK, Snecma, France, and ITP, Spain, it represents a new chapter in European engineering. This achievement does more than demonstrate technical mastery. It marks a turning point in reducing Europe's dependency on American technology, long dominated by aircraft like the C-130 Hercules and C-17 Globemaster III. But the aircraft's impact didn't stop there. Its success opened the door for Airbus military to expand its defense portfolio, most notably with the development of the A330M RTT, a strategic air-to-air -air refueling tanker now operated by over 17 countries worldwide. The lessons learned from the Atlas directly shaped Airbus's ability to design and deliver some of the most capable and efficient military aircraft in service today. In an era defined by geopolitical uncertainty and rising global tensions, the A400M stands as far more than a machine of war. It is a manifestation of strategic autonomy, Proof that Europe can design, build, and sustain its own next-generation military platforms without compromise. Beyond steel and rivets, it carries something intangible yet powerful. The message that Europe's strength lies in its unity, its vision, and its courage to define its own future. The A400M Atlas isn't merely a success story in aviation. It's a declaration that Europe no longer just follows the world's defense trends. It helps shape them. 